All right, this is Gabriel with abugames.com and my second cube draft. And I opened up an Ulamog, which I really like to try to play these big fatties. So I think I'm just going to take it again. First draft, I had Channel. Almost got it out one time with it and almost got it to happen in another game that guy Inquisition my channel out of my hand one turn before I could uh, make it happen so but other than that I guess a Johnny Vengeant maybe that's better maybe I should just go with Johnny Vengeant it's one of the best cards you can have as well this card is super cool though uh, Maybe a blue-white control deck with a Johnny's better than Ulamog. All right, all right. Johnny's super sick. Oh, my goodness. Emrakul now, too? All right. Well, do I just keep shipping the Eldrazi? Or do I make a stand? Say no. I'm the one with the, El with the Eldrazi. How do I cheat this into play? Hmm. I wish I would have taken those two and built a deck around it. Uh, blah, uh, Sun Titan. I guess this Factor Fiction is pretty super sweet. Uh, no, I'm gonna take the Eldrazi. Factor Fiction. There's nothing. I guess I can I can justify the Emrakul pick because although Factor Fiction is really good, there's other card draw. It's almost as good. And uh, none of the other cards in this pack are really that spectacular. Sun Titan's not that great in, in the cube, I don't think. I've had it a few times and never been able to make it work that great. Animate Dead, on the other hand, is super good, but I'm not good at making that work. Okay, how can I get to 15 mana? Let's see. Do I really like Legacies of War? I, when I see a Johnny Vengeance, I immediately think I'm going to be playing some blue-white uh, red control deck. Just kind of how it feels like, feels to me. Glenelandra Archmage. I like Legacies Allure a ton. Red Elemental Blast is pretty good. L Wheel. Kitchen Finks, though. Hmm. The Archmage is super sick. I'm going to stay away from green, I think. Um, well, I don't know if I'm going to go blue yet. Probably will, but Kitchen Finks is super sick, so I'm just going to take that. Although, that last draft, I did not play against a creature deck. Well, it was a combo reanimator deck, and that really got me. So, all the anti-creature stuff wasn't going to do it. Sphinx's Revelation seems like the obvious pick here. Prophetic Bolt's pretty sweet, too, but... Yeah, I don't think it could possibly be better than Sphinx's Revelation. So I'm pretty solidly now going to be playing a blue-white uh, red deck, I think. Which I like. I like that. Whoa, Nickel Bolas. Okay, can I play five colors? Maybe I play five colors. Hollow Burial, super awesome. I need the duel with these with the five-color deck, though. I need the uh, Steam Vents. Blue, blue, red, black. It's hard, so hard to get two black. Hmm. Five color, all but green. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Doing it. Nickel Bolas, that's so silly. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I can't help it. I can't help myself. I could make a good deck, or I can build a fun deck. Win. It's fun. More. It's fun to win with whatever you play, but it's even more fun to win when you get a fun deck to win. I don't know how this Emrakul makes any sense. So just everything but green. You don't even have a greenish card. It could work. Just need to get some uh, some bunch of dual lands and usually draft the dual lands first though. Emrakul, how funny. Force of Will. 
green, white. Well, that's the dual land I don't need. Tainted Pact. That's a good one. Force of Will. I really like Force of Will. And, ooh, Goblin Welder. Can I make that happen? No, I'm going to go with Force of Will. That's a super awesome card. Jushi Apprentice. Why are the dual lands I'm seeing all the little uh, green in them? That's bad. Jushi Apprentice, Slag Storm, that's pretty good. Talaran Sky Summoner, that's pretty good. Ravages of War. I, uh, I don't know if this is the type of deck that wants to blow up all the lands. I don't think it is. I like Catastrophe when you can choose. Slag Storm or Sky Summoner. That's a tough one. You know what? I'm going to take the Sky Summoner. Ooh, Mystic Snake. Bane Fire. Fireball you. <whistles> Day of Judgment. That's a good one. So is Bane Fire. Eh. Fireball. How is Fireball not good enough to play in cube anymore? I mean, it should be a snap pick, you would think. No, I'm going to go with the day. Firestorm. Tendrils of Corruption. No. Well, this pack is pretty awful. Hmm. I suppose I'll take the Firestorm. Serum Visions. Where are the dual lands? Someone else took them all. Dungeon Jace. I really like him. Serum Visions. I think I want that. Alright. Mirror. Do, do, do. Red Blast. Take Legacies of War. Hmm. 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 Skullcrack. Nah. I don't really like any of this stuff. Moments of peace, no. Alright. Crusher is Oh, hollow burial. Okay, another wrath. Alright, alright, maybe I'm coming back to my senses here. Okay. Could hide the could play. Some good blue white cards and well, we'll see how it goes. I still would like to play the good, the four color deck. That'd be super cool. The, the non green four color deck. Be pretty fun to try to do. I thought the Emrakul was only going to be in the holiday queue, but they chose to put it back in for some reason. Again, why? Elish Norn. That's a good one against fair decks, I guess. Again, black, all green. Alright, any dual lands, please. So the question is Niv, Mizzet, Draco Genius, or Elish Norn? Hmm. Well, I might just be splashing red. Hmm. I like drawing cards, though. Absorb, I could just take a counter spell, I suppose. This card just ends games. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna take the Elish Norn, I think. Hellkite is good. Little Bala is good. Hmm. Ah, show and tell. That's how I should put Emrakul into play. Seems like you have to try to do the like the busted things. Yeah, show and tell, Nickel Bolas or Emrakul. I can think I can get behind that plan. All right. And Fuerno. I like that. All right. Looks like we got some good cards coming in here now. Hmm. Four, 
Bolt, Mind Stone. I really like Inferno Titan. I think I want the dual land though. The dual land for a Mind Stone. I like the Mind Stone a lot too. I don't know if Cascade Bluffs where I want to be. Yeah, probably. Okay, Cascade Bluffs it is. Raven Cairn. Eureka! Another way to get Emrakul into play. Alright, if Eureka comes back, maybe I'll figure out a way to get that in the deck. Rolling Earthquake is super silly. Good card. But the Graven Cairns lets me play the Nickel Bolas. Short Fang, I really like that guy. Alright, I already have two Wraths, so I'm going Graven Cairns. Misty. Come on, I gotta get a dual land to make this Misty Rainforest good. Nothing else in here I need. Negate is good. Smokestack is kind of interesting. Alright, Misty. Come on, get a dual land. Tundra, anything with blue. Some blue dual land, please. Man, I got such fun, good cards. I had this, well, what is a sledge? No, I can't. No. No, I'll just leave it there. <sighs> Sulfur Falls. Blue or red? Thunder Maw is pretty sick. Oros Trend. Yeah, I think I'll take. I got all these. No, this is a real dual land, I suppose, in a way. It actually adds mana. It might come and play tapped, but it actually adds mana. Uh, ooh, Lodestone Cauldron. Bant Charm. Not playing green. Everything but green. Oh, I hate this chick. Lodestone is pretty silly. But I think I want the Shivan Reef. Koth. I might not have any mountains in my deck. Iuna. Show and tell Iuna. That's pretty good too. Although. Oh, Garden Hill Kite. Hmm. Uh, hmm. 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think I'm going to take Bogard and Hellkite because I could actually cast it. Possibly. Iona is pretty silly though. 9 mana is a lot. 8 mana is a lot too. Mindstone is starting to look a little better. Ooh, the Draco Genius came back. Good. Alright, so, so my deck is kind of high casting cost at this point. So what? What's the big deal? <laughs> My curve ends at 15. Hmm. I think I'll take the relic. That's pretty cool. Graven Cairns at least gives me the blacks for this. Tomri Rod. Tendrils, nope. Nope. Siege Gang is super good though. I like love dropping this guy. I think this tower you pick was wrong. I'd much rather have Slag Storm. All the Oh the rolling earth gate came back. Good. Blue green. Priest. Oran Viper. Eh. Take the bounce line. Oh, Hell's Oh, I thought that was Thunder Maw Hellkite. Hell's Thunder, not so impressive. Probably should take another guy. Got a little excited there. Although I don't need any more finishers, that's for sure. Lightning Mauler. 
not what I'm looking for. Curd ape, nah. Firestorm, I think not. Frost Titan, that's a good one. Frosty. Shoot, I've got a lot of big high casters though. Him. Fertile Ground. Not playing green. Uh, I could play. I could grab the Flame Tongue Kavu or the Frost Titan. I think. Gosh, this guy's good, but I don't have any ramp, so I can't. I don't know. Chaos Warp. For now. Hmm. Yeah. Flame Tongue's super good. I think I'm going to go with Frost Titan. I can't pass him. He's too good. Well, there's some cards. Blood Crypt. Probably going to be it. Black, red. Let's see. Chrome Mox. Yeah, maybe I want Chrome Mox. Gifts given. Oh, wait. Memory Jar? Hmm. No, I need some kind of I need a ramp, even though Chrome Mox is pretty bad. Maybe I need ramp? I don't know, maybe not. Let me think. Capsize it. I don't have enough mana stuff. Red, black, white. Red, black. See, so still need some a blue dual land. Hmm. Tough choice here. I don't know. I think I'm going to take the Chrome Mox. Ooh, upheaval. Well, no, no decision to be... No, it's nothing to think about there. Nothing better than upheaval, almost. Uh, control magic? Yes. That's pretty dang insanely good. Ooh, Mirari's Wake. This I can't play it. Not playing green. Should just play all the colors. Makes the decision decisions a lot easier, you'd think. All right, now shoot. Legacy is allure and control magic. Turn two, show and tell Emrakul. That'll be good. I have 11 picks left. Alright. It's basically blue, white, red. could just not play Nickel Bolas. And, nah. I need another thing to show and tell. If I'm going to play the show and tell. Eureka. Eureka did not come back. Maybe I should have all those green dual lands that were rolling around. Maybe I should have just taken Eureka. Obzida. Ooh, an angel. Deep analysis. Land tax. That's interesting. Do I have any real dual lands? No. Obzida. It's a pretty decent card. I think the angel is better, though. That's what I need. Another big fat angel thing. Uh, top and tomb, reach, flooded strand, I guess. Fates fetters, we good. Hmm. Uh, 
wildfire. I want to sacrifice any lands. Black or green? No, thank you. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, Sower of Temptations is another control magic. Not exactly as good as control magic by any stretch, but probably makes the cut. Maybe not. Much rather had it any dual land, pretty much. Oh, black, white, dual land. Ender, precursor gone. I think, no question, I need this Palladium Mirror. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Although I love Precursor Golem. And this at least gives me black or white, but yeah. Well, back to the stuff I opened. I don't Eh. Okay, well. I think I'm going to take eight and a half tails. Gosh. Capsize, really? Memory jar? I think I'll take the capsize. Fetid Heath? The only thing I have black is Nickel Bolas. I can just cut that and not have to worry about black. That's what I'm probably going to do. Alright, Capsize. Alright, Mystic Gate. That's good. Definitely don't need any more of this funny business. I have so many of those filter lands, it's sick. Naturalize, Pillage, Wayf Withered Wayfarer, Gamble, Pillage. I think I'll take this Wayfarer. Yeah. Spear one on one. I guess I'll take this. Trigon Predator. Kadama's Reach. That is... Well, the Predator is not very good against me. Kadama's Reach in the pack there is blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. How is that reasonable? Not at all. Okay, let's see if I can pull a deck together out of this. Okay. John Need Kitchen Sphinx. Sphinx of Revelation. Is Mizzet. Palladium Moors. Nope. Well, if I'm going to play the show and tell. Fair play, Emrakul. Like team Rolling Earthquake, Lazard and Hellkite, Siege Gang. That's a land. Chrome Mox, you can count it as a land, because you're gonna you're gonna imprint a non-land onto it. Destructive Force is something. I wanted to sacrifice my lands though. Alright, I think I can play Nickel Bolas. I need something to show and tell in the play. And boy do I have it. Chivalry. Let's get this uh, Mystic Gate, Sulphur Falls. Don't want that. <laughs> the, don't want that. Didn't get any blue dual lands. This will give me blue or white planes. This will give me the black black I need for Nicol Bolas. Add land. Suggest. Um, I don't want any swamps. Two mountains. Definitely want four planes. I got four. Whoa. Yeah. Five planes all together? How many islands do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Alright. 
think that's about right. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, and Chrome mocks. So sixteen lands, Chrome mocks. We could play Weathered Wayfarer. Instead of one of these fatty things. How am I gonna get three white? One, two, three, four planes in my deck. And this thing. Maybe I have too many red. Let's see here. One, two, three. Four, five red. I think I need one more, one more planes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I've got some. Uh, so I still have the angel in my deck. I gotta decide if I want one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to get three of them. I think I'm gonna take Angel out and put in Weathered Wayfarer. Yeah. We'll see how this goes.